Now, here's the funny thing. Although NFC is already really well established as a payment method here in Turkey, it's the mobile phone industry that's having to play catch up. There are currently hardly any mobile phones on the market that have NFC chips built in. So in order to kickstart that particular industry here in Turkey, you can retrofit any old mobile phone with an NFC chip. What you do is get this NFC adapter and you fit it behind the SIM card in your phone. So you can see that here is the radio antenna that works with NFC and also on the adapter there's a little bit of software which adds a menu function to your phone. So for example I've got a pretty basic feature phone here it doesn't come with NFC built in but you can see that it's got the adapter wraps behind the battery there which means that if you go to the menu and you scroll down to SIM functions and there you can see the option to make a contactless payment to any of the cards that you have linked to your account. But how secure is this system? After all, if someone steals your cash, at least you know how much you've lost. But if they steal your contactless card or your phone, what's to stop a pickpocket from using it over and over again? If a thief, uh, for example, steals your card and goes and uses that card to tap and do purchases, you only have a limited number of transactions you can do, and also a limited number um, of, a, of a total amount they can actually spend. So that's a risk uh, that the banks are willing to take, because it provides a convenience element, if you like, to the consumer. So will it work? Well, while the older generation may be reluctant to trade in their cash for plastic, silicon and glass, it is the younger, international thinking, cinema going, tweeting and Facebooking population already fully teched out, which may help NFC catch on.